Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see the concept of elasticity of substitution. We know that the marginal rate of technical substitution is the rate at which one factor is substituted for another factor. In simple terms, we can say that marginal rate of technical substitution is the slope of an isoquant. It only shows a ratio of the changes in factor inputs, but it does not reveal how difficult or easy it is to substitute one input for another. So, in order to find out the degree of substitutability between factors, the economists have devised a method for measuring the same, which is termed as the elasticity of substitution. This concept was initially put forward by Sir John R. Hicks. The elasticity of substitution, represented as sigma, shows the percentage change in the K by L ratio for every 1% change in the marginal rate of technical substitution when moving along an isoquant. So the formula for calculating elasticity of substitution is sigma is equal to percentage change in the capital labor ratio divided by percentage change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. In short, the elasticity of substitution not only represents the ease of substitutability between factor inputs but also the curvature of an isoquant. So let's see the elasticity of substitution with the help of a diagram. Here on the x-axis labor is measured and on the y-axis capital is measured. We have an isoquant here represented by Q. At point A it can be observed that Q level of output is produced by using 5 units of labor and 20 units of capital whereas at point B the same Q level of output is produced by using 10 10 units of labor and 10 units of capital. If a firm producing Q level of output using the factor combination at point A is to move towards point B, the firm's ease of substitutability of the factor inputs can be measured using the elasticity of substitution. Here, the slope of the rays OA and OB represents the capital labor ratio. So, at point A, the K by L ratio will be K divided by L, that is 20 divided by 5, which is 4, and at point B, the K by L ratio will be 10 divided by 10 that is 1. Now we need to find out the MRTS at each of these points. We know that the slope of an isoquant is MRTS of labor for capital which is equal to MPL divided by MPK. Now suppose the production function of this isoquant is Q is equal to L raised to 0.5 K raised to 0.25. Differentiating this production function with respect to labor and capital we will get MPL and MPK that is del Q by del L is equal to del L raised to 0.5 K raised to 0.25 divided by del L and solving this we get MPL is equal to 0.5 L raised to minus 0.5 K raised to 0.25. Similarly, differentiating Q with respect to K we get MPK is equal to 0.25 L raised to 0.5 K raised to minus 0.75. Now substituting these terms onto the equation MPL by MPK, we get 0.5 L raised to minus 0.5 K raised to 0.25 divided by 0.25 L raised to 0.5 K raised to minus 0.75. Here we have negative exponents for labor and capital. So bringing K raised to minus 0.75 onto the numerator and L raised to minus 0.5 onto the denominator, we get 0.5 0.5 k raised to 0.75 k raised to 0.25 divided by 0.25 l raised to 0.5 l raised to 0.5. Here 0.25 multiplied by 2 is 0.5 and since the base is same and is of a multiplicative form, we can add up the exponents and we get 2 k raised to 0.75 plus 0.25 divided by l raised to 0.5 plus 0.5 which is equal to 2 k by l. So we have got the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital as 2 k by l. We have already calculated the K by L ratio at point A and B. Now substituting the K by L ratio at point A onto this equation 2K by L, we receive the marginal rate of technical substitution at point A as 8 and the MRTS at point B as 2. Now, substituting these values onto the formula of elasticity of substitution, we get percentage change in the K by L ratio which can be written as delta K by L divided by K by L multiplied by 100. Since we are looking up the percentage change, that is why we are multiplying the term by 100. So here we get delta K by L as 1 minus 4 and k by l is 4 multiplied by 100. So we get minus 3 by 4 multiplied by 100 which is minus 75. Similarly, percentage change in MRTS can also be written as delta MRTS divided by MRTS multiplied by 100. Delta MRTS is 2 minus 8 and MRTS is 8. So 2 minus 8 divided by 8 multiplied by 100 is minus 6 by 8 multiplied by 100. Multiplying by 2, we get minus 3.5 
3 by 4 multiplied by 100 which is also minus 75. So substituting these values onto the formula of elasticity of substitution we get sigma is equal to minus 75 divided by minus 75 which is equal to 1. So this value shows that every 1% change in the marginal rate of technical substitution causes 1% change in the K by L ratio as well. So this is nothing but constant returns to scale. The elasticity of substitution can be of any number greater than or equal to 0. If the value of elasticity of substitution is a high value, it means that the substitution between factor inputs is easy. Such a case can be identified for perfect substitutes wherein we get a linear isoquant. Here, whatever be the K by L ratio, the MRTS value remains the same. That is, MRTS remains constant. At any point on a linear isoquant, say MRTS is equal to 4, then at all the points on the linear isoquant, the MRTS will be 4. So, delta MRTS will be 4 minus 4, which is 0. So, there is 0 change in the MRTS. So, if we take into account the elasticity of substitution, that is, percentage change in the K by L ratio divided by percentage change in MRTS, then let K by L be any value. So, any value divided by 0 will be infinity, which clearly shows that the substitution between factor inputs is easy. On the other hand, if the value of elasticity of substitution is low or close to 0, it shows that the substitution between the factor inputs is difficult. Such a case can be witnessed in the case of perfect complements wherein the isoquants will be L-shaped. Here, the labor capital combinations are used in fixed proportions, that is at the kink here. Keeping capital constant and increasing only labor or keeping labor constant and increasing only the capital will not increase the output level. Only if the labor and capital combinations are increased in the same fixed proportion, only then the output will increase. Say for example, suppose for chopping carrots, let us assume that there is only one labor and one knife for chopping the carrots. So the knife is our capital equipment and then we have one labor. Now suppose keeping the capital equipment constant, say one more labor comes to help in chopping the carrot. Then the second labor cannot make any contribution here because there is only one knife. That is the capital is constant here. Similarly, if we keep the labor constant, that is there is only one labor and if we increase the capital, say increase the number of knives, then also the output will not increase because that one labor can only chop carrots with one knife at a time. So, there is no use increasing the number of capital by keeping the labor constant. So, only if the labor and capital are increased in the same proportion, then only more carrots can be chopped. That is, if another labor is coming for help, then one more knife needs to be provided. So, here the capital labor has increased in the same proportion itself. In short, the elasticity of substitution shows not only the ease of substitutability between factor inputs, but also the curvature of the isoquant. In this diagram, we can see different types of isoquants and its elasticity of substitution. We have a linear isoquant with elasticity of substitution is equal to infinity. Then we have a convex isoquant with elasticity of substitution equal to 1. And then we have an L-shaped isoquant with the elasticity of substitution equal to 0. As the value of sigma changes, we can see that the shape of the isoquant is also changing. So, from the value of the elasticity of substitution as well as from the curvature of the isoquant, Quant, we can identify the ease of substitutability of factors. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.